23rd of April 2022, Sergei Baklikov, Baklikov Live, you're watching. And uh, road trip 2022, keep going. Look, today I drove uh, 80, well, 120 kilometers by the roads, but uh, actually from Kirovsk and Apatiti, I'm only in like 80, maximum 80 kilometers south of Apatiti. But look, already like being more south, it's, uh, well, from Murmansk, 200 uh, kilometers south, and uh, it's already way warmer here and uh, way less snow. And I see that even, you know, some green uh, grass uh, comes out, okay? So uh, today we are in the southernmost town of uh, Murmansk region. So welcome, welcome everybody. Miss 331, Richard Brooks, Anastasia, Lana S, John Bauer, um, Dmitry Savin, Shelly Vasquez, Kapk, um, Roger Perez, Zenon S, UFO Factor Fiction. Everybody, welcome. Welcome to the town of Candelaksha. Candelaksha, southernmost, southernmost. Uh, town of Murmansk region and look this is Fyodorit Fyodorit Kolsky Fyodorit of Kola Kola Peninsula he lived in 15th 16th century he is arch mandrite of the Russian Orthodox Christian Church and the thing is back then back then in 15th 16th century this land was known as the uh, Kola North and it used to belong to the uh, Novgorod lands of old Russia. And uh, so back then he, he was making a lot of uh, bringing Sami, Sami, the indigenous people of uh, uh, the Northern Europe and uh, the people, indigenous people who lived here into the Orthodox uh, Christianity. He's like was uh, translating the uh, saint books and stuff like that. So that's why he is now uh, commemorated here on the central square of the city. The central square, well, not city, town. It's only 29, 30,000 residents are living here. And look, even though, even though the first mention, I mean, like, people were here already in um, 15th century, but the, even though the first mention, like, exactly about Candelaksha was made in 1516, uh, and uh, the official foundation of Candelaksha at uh, 1526, however, however, uh, big developments, Candelaksha got only, only uh, starting from 1915 and the town since 1938, okay, 1938. That's why, that's why, even though it's like way older than all those exceptionally Soviet towns which were founded exceptionally in Soviet time, Murmansk, Alinigorsk, Manchigorsk, Apatiti, Kirovsk, even though, even though, uh, it's uh, like uh, founded centuries before that. However, however, the main development came here in 1915 when they reconstructed the commercial seaport here. Seaport, it is located on the uh, uh, Kandalaksha Bay. Kandalaksha Bay, it's a part of the White Sea. It's, uh, the, uh, um, it's the seaports which can serve Certain and can, can provide the service. I mean, like work with a, a really large vessels, the vessels with a so-called size, like um, with uh, uh, handy size and handy max, handy max. So it's like the vessels with a width of up to 100 meters, and it's uh, all year long port. In the winter time. The work of the port, like the route to the ports, provide us with the icebreakers. Here on the central square, it's like something classical, 
classic, something is not. From the classics, here is the administration of the town. There is Lenin. Well, I will not go to Lenin. I mean, like in every of my live stream, we see Lenin. But, okay, let's meet Lenin today. And uh, the monument to the defenders of the Soviet Arctic in the years of World War II. Here, it is introduced with the tank, the real tank, Russian tank, the legendary T-34. But what I like that here they have uh, such a public space, so it's uh, not just, you know, like, uh, for example, any uh, stella or the monument to Lenin and just uh, like, a, like a sidewalk next to it, but the whole public space, what now they call public space, with a benches, with a nice tile. Here they have some bars. Um, burger place, sushi shop. So this is the central square. The central square. This is the hotel, you see? And uh, that's the movie theater. The Soviet movie theater, such a 1950s movie theater, which is called Niva. Niva. Let me tell you that Niva, Niva. It's Niva, it's not Neva. The thing is, we are here the town is located right at the place where Neva River meets the uh, Kandalaksha Bay. Neva, not Neva. Nothing in common with the river in St. Petersburg, okay? And uh, usually I'm not, I'm not like during my live streams from the towns, usually I'm not driving, but well, today, today, let, let's, let's drive. I'm gonna take you to the place I'm going to take you to the place where uh, you can see what is Kandalakshi is all about right away. Look, so this is uh, this is the car, my car, and uh, I I washed it only once after Murmansk, after Alenigorsk, and uh, there was a lot of roads after that. And look how it looks like now. <clears throat> okay, now let's drive. 260s Cowboy, Big Germ, Russell Clements, Marsha, Marsha. Come on, let's go. We now will go to the place where you will see what is uh, Kandalakshi is all about, okay? <sighs> so, so there we go. Hello, Glean Elville. I'm taking you for a ride. theater the central movie theater here so you see all the Soviet architecture 
I told you, even though the city was like known, the town was known, not the town, well, it wasn't town until 1938. I'm not sure why they have such a stiffing ribs here in the houses. Поверните, turn to Partizanskaya, Partizan Street. Okay, let's turn to the streets of Partizans. The railway. So the railway here, you know, um, what the hell? The railway here connected with Apatite, where I was yesterday. And uh, it is also connected with Murmansk Railway, Murmansk St. Petersburg. So here goes the uh, trains to St. Petersburg, to Moscow, in the summertime to Anapa, Sochi, Novorossiysk. You see, uh, look at that mount the mountain here, already no snow. So now you will see Neva River, get ready. Neva. Not Neva. The camera, speed camera here. Frigging speed camera. And now, guys, you will see uh, that we, that's how we will feel now that we're really close to Karelia. Are you ready? Karelia. I'm telling you that if there's only two words to describe Karelia, I would say woods and lakes, like a nice pine trees. You see, here's really more like full-scale trees. Not this, I know, mother and kid or sister and her brother. Anna from Russia to 60s cowboy Robert Loventi. Neva as Elada Neva, yes, Neva, Neva River. I will show you now. The thing is, I'm now going to the place today. I was looking for it, um, and uh, I have found the great place, like for my vlog when I filmed the vlog. Um, I will show uh, the, the place that gives you a total understanding what it is. Um, Kandalakshi is all about, okay? And look, for the reason that this town was uh, before before the Soviet Union yet well, in the center of the city, it's like pretty much it's like pretty much Soviet, but here a private sector private, we call it private sector because it's like uh, the uh, sector or like neighborhoods, blocks of uh, private houses. So I'm now literally going to to the place where Neva River meets Kandalaksha Bay. And if you will look at the map, you will see that Kandalaksha is a part of White Sea. You see that? Well, even abandoned building here, abandoned house. But somehow most houses are nice. Okay, such a wooden houses. 
and old wooden houses. So people lived here yet before the revolution. I told you the first mention was in 1516 about Candelaksha. You see some nice houses there. So yeah, it's already warmer here. Some warmer and see people like have the houses. But this many of these houses are really old. And you see they are in the old part of the town. They are in the old part of the town because you see this is exactly where Kandalaksha started. It is started just uh, near the uh, near the bay. Near Hello, William Kennedy. Shelly Vasquez, everybody. Enjoy the time. Okay, so this is the place I have found. I have found this place. You see such a little hill. So that's it. That's it. You see that? Okay, let me show you. Let me freaking show you. You hear me? Uh, okay, parking. Uh, okay there are some really nice new houses look okay so ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen look i have found the place where to where i can show you uh what is kadalak is all about look this is neva river neva neva not neva nothing in common with river in saint petersburg here is the place where it meets with Kandalaksha Bay. Kandalaksha Bay is the part of uh, White Sea. So there, on in that side, I will show you yet today. There is the seaport, commercial seaport that they founded yet in 1915. It's uh, like large scale port where really huge vessels with the width like up to like 100 meters may coming and uh it's uh 24 7 i mean 365 it's all year long uh ports in the winter time the routes provide us with the ice breakers okay so now now it is connected with uh really important northern sea routes which is connecting these parts of russia with uh, the uh, far east of Russia and uh, White Sea and Baltic Canal. It's a huge canal, 241 kilometers. And uh, tomorrow, most probably, I will go to the beginning, to the place where this canal began. 241 kilometers, thinking about it, and it's canal, man-made. So it's uh, the people, it's the Soviet people were making the canal from... Uh, white sea to lake onega okay next thing next thing you see neva river upstream up neva river they constructed there the uh, uh neva gas 2 neva gas 3 and others what is known as cascade of neva uh, water power plants yes the power plant there Actually, today I went there to Neva 3 power, water power plants, but there uh, came out the security guards and he told me that it's better not to film there. But you actually can't see there that same as in the town of Volkov, you can't see. It seems like everything is under the ground. But anyway, uh, I went there. So look, look, um, the seaports, the seaports and <clears throat> Neva water power plants, which gives the power 184 megawatts, okay? Now, let me show you the port. Let's keep moving. We need to keep moving.
I connected a charger. What is that smoke far away? I don't see any smoke. By the way, Hibini Mountains. They are already pretty far from us. So... The sunset there. Okay, now to the port. Now to the port. So is that smoke you're talking about? Well, here usually if we see smoke, it's, it's banya. Or maybe they are burning the trash, a wooden trash. Yep, I see the tube. It's probably Banya. Hello, Lord, have mercy, lava, java, lava. Quiet man, Edward Doan, uh, Jay Gerard, Jay Gerard. Yeah, today, uh, not usual walk. Today, uh, we also driving, but that's because I don't think I will be able to show everything just walking here. And it's very important to show. So we are getting back. Sherwood, Sally Kenneck, awesome woods. It's already more like Karelian, Karelian uh, flavor woods. Hello, Doctor Waltz and everybody.
Lysian D. Angulium. Thanks so much for supporting the contents. Anastasia, thank you for supporting the contents. That's pretty great you're supporting the contents. Now when you're sending super chats, super stickers, super thanks in the comments to the videos, you guys please know that now you supporting the content because everything now goes to produce the new content. So this is Neva River, Neva. Not Neva. So what the hell is here? Okay, the police. The police. Well, technically the police can um, can give me a fine for filming. Uh, because it can be considered as the usage of the mobile phone even though I'm not talking Okay, so here I'm turning to uh, uh, Seaport So this is how I actually got to the other shore um, of uh, Neva River. And this is already not even Neva, but it's Candelaksha. Candelaksha. No way I can now get close to Candelaksha because everything here is like um, the territory of seaport. I can't get really close, but I just will show you. So the seaport founded here in 1915. You see such a, such a territory of ports, so administrative building, the offices. Uh, so it's like a seaport clerks. Here is a cute tugboat, tugboat. It is called Storm, yeah. A little one, but like a storm. Tugboat. And uh, there are the cranes. Well, if you will watch my vlog today later, you will see the port from the side, from the drone. Because traditionally today I filmed the vlog. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't want to watch a long uh, live streams, but just want to uh, get maximum of information in a uh, minimum of time. Quiet man. Okay, here's, here is the dead ends. By the way, during this um, road trip in this um, northern cities, I've got my lips scratched. Okay, just one more thing I want to show you here. It's a church of uh, John the Baptist. Unfortunately, it's totally, totally like new made church, but it's on a place of the historical John the Baptist church. The thing is, it's called John the Baptist because uh, there were coming the first settlers of uh, Kandalaksha and uh, there were Baptist, the Sami, indigenous people of uh, Northern Europe and uh, Kola, Kola Peninsula. So this is it. Yeah, it's newly made and uh, it's not even like the best example of the architecture unfortunately but it is what it is dr walt great work thanks so much thanks so much 
Okay, so here I'm gonna turn over. Turn over. Well, actually there we can get closer to uh, uh, the port, a little bit closer. So the cranes, well, port like port. But anyway, so port. hydroelectric power plants or water power plants unfortunately I can't show you because even when I filmed the vlog today I decided not to film it because it's like the re regime objects actually nuclear power plants and uh, um, uh, hydropower plants well hydropower plants is not of course not as strict as uh, nuclear power plant but I, I was recommended well you see uh, I film everywhere in Russia but uh, one of not many things where you you better you better you better not film it's like a military objects and uh, like the objects like you know such a strategy such a strategic objects as a nuclear power plants so today uh look today when i drove here i drove next to uh cola nuclear power plants it's a uh, it's a uh, huge power plants they have four energy blocks four reactors it's uh, the power plant that gives 1000 840 megawatts for you to understand for you to understand how much it is let me tell you that the excess power so excess power of uh cola nuclear power plants is about 300 400 megawatts so imagine that 25 percent 25 percent of its uh its power is not even like used now I mean, they just don't have the usage to use it all. Uh, Lava Java Lava, thanks so much. Because look, because unfortunately, after I think that's uh, it, well, they say that it's because of the decrease of the usage of uh, the uh, energy in Murmansk region. But of course, it's connected with the thing that you know for the last thirty years after the collapse of USSR, uh, after the collapse of USSR uh so the population were decreasing and uh, so less people now here living in murmansk region for example uh here now living thirty thousand people in kandalaksha but on a peak used to be um 54 55 and uh, when i went to apatite you remember i told you that there used to be uh 88 thousand residents on a peak uh, back in 1989 and now it's only and now it's only uh, 50 there every town in Murmansk so but one more thing I can show you I can show you is so-called CAS, Kandalaksha, Kandalaksha, Kandalakshansky Aluminium Zavod, Kandalaksha Aluminium Plant, which is located in the other side of the city, in the industrial zone. It's um, the aluminium plant, which is now a part of uh, Rusal Company, United Company Rusal. It was founded. I mean, the Rusal was founded in 2000s by the Russian oligar, oligar Oleg Duripaska. So now the local uh, aluminium plant, it's also like belong to uh, that United Group, uh, Rusal. But here it's called Kandalaksha aluminium plants. Um, they produce 76,000 uh, tons of aluminium a year. A year uh, for the needs of the electric and uh, technical and technical um, industry 
electrical and technical industry of Russia. 76,000 tons. Okay. Musa Taha High. Duck. Look, I need to find a frigging. I need to get a frigging. Um, okay, so let's see. Okay, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes. Okay, let's let's drive. Let's drive. And there's just a usual power plant. Just a regular power pl power plant there. A genie skinner. Wow! Thanks so much for a great super sticker in amount of fifty bucks, which is pretty helpful for uh, this road trip 2022. 2022. Yeah, this is the most epic. Somebody see this, but I almost came to the place. This is Kandalaksha aluminium plant, which is now a part of Rusal. So it's the third big enterprise here in Candelaksha Seaport. And the aluminium plants. That's it, now let's get back to the town. Are you naive? You think somebody will let you go without any permission, without any agreements? Are you okay? Are you okay? MDS123, are you okay?
font lip reader thanks a lot for sharing your excellent bits you're well you're welcome Uh, so what's the problem with the connection because uh, I was driving to the border of the city but I hope you saw something Just thanks to your dedication to Mother Russia, quiet man. Welcome. Um, Big Rory Holler. Thank you, Big Rory. Thank you, Big Time. Oh, that nice. Anyway, my, my car is pretty dirt now. Uh, once we're getting into more dry area, uh, to, tomorrow I will get to Karelia. I will get to Karelia tomorrow. It's already way drier, way uh, warmer there. And so it uh, makes sense to wash the car. makes sense you hear me it makes sense it makes sense you hear me hey you hear me it makes sense the sun is still there Yeah, the sunset here comes already at 9 o'clock, which is not bad for April. Silic Hennig, a little more help. Uh, yes, now you're supporting the trip and new towns. New towns? which nobody else showing you nobody uh if tiriberka is like pretty much covered being in such an artistic place picturesque place just the edge of russia and blah 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 murmansk is a large city so yeah uh different vloggers used to come there even english Nobody else yet. Nobody else covers it in English language. And uh, that's, but that's like what's what's really interesting. Like every town has its own history. For example, Olenigorsk, it's all about iron ore, iron ore miners. Meanwhile, Monchegorsk is about copper nickel production. They are making one of the cleanest nickel can make nickel with the 99.9 uh, .9 purity next thing apatite it's all about the uh, minerals apatites and nephilims used in the agriculture and here it's the seaports and the uh, hydroelectric power plants also you see that aluminium aluminium plants and uh, that's uh, the towns with a population of like 20 30 40 50 thousand yeah only mormons region it's it is already taken more uh, like 10 days for me 10 days i'm i'm in a, i'm on trip already for 10 days 10 days and i only and, and I'm still in, in Murmansk region. Yes, tomorrow I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving Murmansk region. Um, 
relatively not far from here the border with uh, Karelia but look it has taken like 10 days for me 10 days and seven towns so here is uh, seems like cargo departments of the railway station Yeah, from here, look, from here it seems like Hibini Mountains where we were yesterday. It's like still close, but it's already not that close. It's about 80 kilometers, well, maybe 70 from here. It's 120 kilometers through the roads, but um, the thing is, f f out of uh, 120 kilometers, 40 of them I just was uh, driving to the west. So, and then, oh, you see, 1959, this tunnel was made in 1959, so, there we go, okay, we got back to the town, we got back to the town, look, I'm not sure what is this stiffing ribs is all about. Is this decoration? If it's decoration, it's strange. Look, stiffing ribs. What the hell? I never heard about the uh, earthquakes danger here. So it doesn't look like stiffing ribs, more like the decoration. But if it's decoration, then it's like strange. buildings are colored here as well okay so this is the central square from where we have started Ну чё? Ну чё? Чё скажете? Чё скажете? Наслаждались поездкой? Что скажете? Почему молчите? So, what will you say? What will you say? Enjoying the ride? Enjoying the ride?
also never forget to check my yesterday's vlog uh, Shelia George hi Shelia uh, Papi Hook yes Winnie the Pooh thank you thank you too for watching yes indeed the trip is excellent Barb Filer say hi to also Brian never forget to check my yesterday's vlog Robert Lovendi love the sunset and views enjoy Roger Perez 10 out of 10 yours sincerely thank you Roger colorful building what is this well it's just the usual building but it seems like the uh, residential building with some business on the first floor like there's uh, Jager cafe Jager uh, there is uh, sushi place Marinas 103 thanks so much there's the store, grocery store. Uh, well, you know, I already told you why here they uh, like paint the buildings often because this is a Russian Arctic. It's not that bad now, but it's awful in the uh, winter time, like December, January. You know what is polar nights? You know, polar days and polar nights. Here in the Arctic, you know, it can be like the day that never ends. And uh, at nights and winters, it's vice versa. It's the night that never ends. And uh, yeah, that's, that can be uh, sometimes uh, annoying. No Tiremok. Yeah, no Tiremok here. No Tiremok. I think here is no any big brands, uh, well, of course, like not foreign, not even Russian brands. In Apatit, there was only Dodo Pizza, which is uh, like a Russian wide network chain. chain. Uh, here they have like their own uh, chains, which are available in the region only. Like, for example, this Jager Cafe, Jager Cafe, also that Sushi Gourmet. You know, sushi gourmet. Yep. By the way, sushi gourmet, it's a pretty nice sushi there. Uh, not not sushi, but rolls, actually. But everybody, everybody call... Uh, everybody call... Uh, here, everybody calls sushi rolls. I mean, sushi or rolls, they anyway call this sushi. Alicia and Diangulium, thanks so much. You broke my heart, sir, it was a good idea, visit the aluminum plants. Dude, nobody will let you to get in, I'm telling you, nobody, nobody. It's uh, for such a visits, you need to talk with their press service, with their PR management, stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, it's possible, like, of course it's possible. There is nothing special about it. It's not even like nuclear power plants. It's just a freaking aluminum plant. But I mean, uh, if I will just come, they don't know me. Uh, the security guards just will never even let me to get in. So what the hell are you talking about? Or are you one of problems? Curtis CC. Hello, Curtis. Used to Jose Gorio Fasser. Shiny 41. Ruchira Munjal, hi, hi to California, hi from uh, Kandalaksha. I would like to donate through PayPal. Uh, PayPal now is unavailable in Russia, but if you go to my baklikovlife.ru website, there, there you will see how you can contribute it all the ways. You can contribute with Super Chat, super sticker in the live chat here you can contribute with joining the membership of my youtube channel you can contribute with uh super thanks comment to the vlog it's so-called super thanks comments yeah it's possible to send paid comments um and also it's still possible to make swift like just a good old uh bank wire transfers 
the details on my website. That's how you can support the road trip 2022. Sergey, what does the Hyundai cost per day? So it's like, um, let me let me say, oh, it's. Uh, Duck. It's about 27 bucks a day. 27 bucks a day plus gas plus hotel, the food. So every day at least at least 100 bucks. At least 100 bucks for all. You can donate on Patreon too, right? Yes, yes. Okay, let's go to town. I mean, let's get to the to the square. Hello, David Day. Saturday nights rush to nightclub. No dudes. The road trip is not about nightclubs. Anyway, I don't know any. It seems like I got back. Wow. It seems like I, yeah, I got back. I was, I was, I already thought that I've lost the stream because, uh, um, you know, I had a uh, heater here turned off, turned on, and uh, it it never seemed like it was that hot, but it was enough for an iPhone to feel hot, and uh, iPhone iOS turn off, turn on, so called emergency modes yeah that's that's weird yeah thanks for advice you can drive around and hold the phone out of window. well that's already fixed fixed and uh, fortunately I'm not gone I'm surprised where the uh, locals are hanging out because today it's Saturday, Saturday, but I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone on their central square. But usually, even in the small towns, like in the smaller towns, like Olenigorsk, even smaller, I saw there, there, there were guys. A lot of guys who were hanging out on their their central square. We'll wash the car tomorrow. I will wash it tomorrow. Going to be my second wash. Because I'm entering Karelia. It's um, I feel like it's way drier here. Jagger bar, oh, Jagger, coffee, coffee. 
and a sushi shop. Apteka. Apteka, it's a drug store. Oh, they turned on the lights. By the way, today I was as busy as I do not even yet uh, rented the, the hotel. Well, I just saw the hotels are available. You know, the thing is, um, the road trip keeps busy. It's like a pretty, pretty tight schedule. Bohanka was it's uh, the best car for Russian off-roads My navigator still works The central library. Candle lecture tour, tour agency. Yeah, I'm sure here is a great, a lot of great places around natural places like tour bases A little square <clears throat> This is a seal the seal his name is Grigori. Now, when I, I'm looking at this seal, I just recalled one advice. Never watch the movie called Tusk. <laughs> okay, never. Rotary Kundalaksha. So sometimes it's hot, even in the Russian Arctic. So you can see it under this umbrella. Uh, totally not sure what it is. Okay, this sculpture called Connection. It's a gift of the Finnish twin town Kemich Arvi for the 500th anniversary of Candelaksha in 2017. Okay, so connection. Connection between Russia and Finland. from Finna, fin, Finnish sculptor. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, today I showed everything what I, what makes sense. I gave, I think I gave you a total understanding of what is Kandalaksha. Besides that, there also will be yet vlog. Now, traditionally, I will go to the hotel and uh, there in the hotel, I will edit the video, okay? So I and Sil Grigori, we are saying 
we are saying bye for today tomorrow road trip 2022 i will continue and uh, i already will leave murmansk region and uh, we'll get on a territory one first thing i will get on the territory of the republic of karelia second it's i will get uh, uh get out of the arctic circle okay so i will leave the arctics <clears throat> frank hauser winnie the pool greg mcmillan bridge tunnel scatter club smo and peace everybody everybody thank you thank you for watching okay so now okay let's go to the central square there i will make make my traditional panorama and yes i need to go to find the hotel now everybody here after the uh, uh, closing of booking.com in russia using ostrovok ostrovok which is also like pretty great site probably the owner of ostrovok now became multi-millionaire because everybody now use ostrovok bridge and tunnel scatter club scooter club uh, thanks for the tour you're welcome you're welcome big time Astravok, it's actually totally the same uh, it makes all the same as booking <clears throat> during this road road trip i use ostrovok ostrovok only once i just had to call to the hotel and Monchegorsk, which I saw on the map, but I never saw that like in Ostrovok. And they said that Ostrovok now overloaded with the hotels just, you know, wanting to join them. And, it, and they also sent the application, but it takes time to consider it. Okay, J. Lewis, hi, hi, J. Lewis, Calvero Rogers, hi, and bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Okay, dudes, uh, 260 Cowboy, G.I. Lewis, Robert, uh, Cowboy Roy Rogers, Alicien Diangolium, Sally Kenna, Klana S, Miss 31, J. Rich 52804, Winnie the Pooh, Shiny 41, Susan Raymonds, uh, Matthias, Robert Lowendy, Donnie 55, Ben Parkinson, uh, Leo Rotterdam, yeah, you guys, you guys keep watching, thank you, and uh, never forget to check out my yesterday's vlog while I will edit uh, today's one, okay, so here is the link. I will send you the link now. Check it out, never forget to comment, like, subscribe. Tricky Who, Raya Mirin. Yes, I still use uh, cheapskate hotels. Uh, well, it's not cheapskate hotels, it's just like the... Uh, yeah, that's the cheapest hotels, but it's not a fact they will be just a cheapskate. Yeah, but... You know, when I'm saving up on the hotel, that means I'm uh, I'm helping to more to more locations in the road trip. Zenon S, Norway Jose Badon, Okay, ladies and gentlemen from Kandalaksha, from Kola Peninsula, from the southernmost town of Murmansk region, from Russia, from 